Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on replication of parine and uh, a stun attack. So here, as you can see, let me first parry and do execution or stun attack. So as you can see, that was visible from this client. The small windows are clients, and I was doing the stun attack through a client and the big one is server so from all three windows you will say uh, you could properly see all the actions happening including the parrying and doing the stun attack now let me do the same thing with the server as well just to see everything is working properly so let's wait till he do an attack okay for the stun attack and execute it so I was able to kill him properly uh, successfully and as you can see here from the clients view the NPC is already dead okay so yeah that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from the patron page uh, once you become a down member you can download anything without a limit to the date there are closer to 2000 videos for each video project file is available and this is a part of this action rpg with game playability system so i leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description below you can watch them for free all right and uh, let's get back to today's tutorial So right now, if I try to counter, parry and do a finisher here, as you can see, parry is not working on the client. So for some reason. So first we need to fix parry. We need to replicate parry, and then we can fix. Uh, then we can check on how the a stun attack system works after parry all right so first thing is here let me open my character so the parry ability is uh, depends on when we block here we apply this ge parry gameplay effect to self if this is present only we can parry uh, the attack but since this is not uh, I haven't applied this gameplay effect in a replicated manner but for that we have already created a function apply gameplay effect and here I can select parry gameplay effect and if I show you the implementation it's just a function that uh, that runs on server the given gameplay effect so now I should be able to parry so again a smaller window is a client yeah now parrying is working as you can see but uh, it didn't show the and still the execution part is also not working so the parent is working but it didn't show the particle effect that shows the character is parried it only appears in the server let me show you the server oh i have two characters so yeah you see the particle effect okay all right um now to show the particle effect the way we show the particle effect is here if i open my parry gameplay effect and not gameplay effect gameplay ability here i just spawn system at a location now instead of doing it this way 
I should have used a gameplay queue because I have a replicated way to uh, execute gameplay queues in my GACLM which is the parent of this GA Parry React so we can reuse that function so uh, let's create a gameplay queue which is here and select this gameplay queue notify burst as the parent so i call it gc and parry and here under burst effect we can add a particle so here i'll queue parry effect ns parry okay and i don't have a sound at the moment but if you want you can add a sound and a camera shake and everything here and default spawn condition i don't think i need to change anything here placement info i don't think i need to attach uh, what else oh tag so here i'll add a tag Gameplay Q Parry and I'll add this tag and uh, default gameplay tags and select it. Okay, now in the parry react, instead of this, we can use a replicated execute gameplay queue replicated okay now as the target actor i can give this our actor from actor info and parameters let's make gameplay queue parameters and i'll give the location like this and I think that's all I need here uh, and the gameplay queue tag here we can assign gameplay queue where is it yeah gameplay queue parry okay now this parry should appear on the clients as well so let's test this on the client yeah see now i got the particle effect and i can do the execution but as you can see it doesn't work properly because even if after uh, doing the stun attack to kill the character character stands up right after that so that's because the death is not replicating here so how to handle that now all right so for that let's go to the stun attack ability g a g a stun attack so here we activate this character event death ability on the victim like this but when this runs on the client this does not replicate regardless of the settings that we assign here even if i mark this as replicate this does not work so let me anyway let's try see it doesn't work okay so how can we fix this so for that let's go to the parent because I then I'll I need to define a new event to activate abilities on given actors in on the server so 
let's go here and let's add a custom event oh what is this custom event i'll call it activate ability on server and as an input i'll give an actor object target actor get ability system activate ability by tag so here i want to activate it by tag now make oh do we have a use of doing it like this okay now i'll mark this to run on server now in the stun attack here i'll call instead of calling this i'll call activate ability on server and as the target actor i'll give victim here make letter uh, is there a way to directly define this what if i do it in the way i did it before Tech. oh yeah now i can really set it cool so here i want to activate character event death okay now let's test yeah this time it worked character died let's go from another server another client and check yeah as you can see character is dead so it's working properly so that's all i want to cover in this episode so as you can see now the parry and stun attacks are properly replicated so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye